Hey guys, the objective for this video and the next video are going to be to find the maximum bending moment and shear in girder 2 for permanent and imposed action assuming beam is simply supported. In this video I'm just going to be covering um, the maximum moment and shear for the permanent action. So the first thing we want to be do is to draw the free body diagram of beam 2. Okay, so I'm going to explain how I achieved this. If we look back at what beam 2 actually is, so beam 2 is this internal girder. Now we've got, as we've said in the previous video, a UDL for the self weight of this beam, and we're also going to be getting point loads from the joists above. All right, so our free body diagram is going to be comprised of a UDL due to self weight and three point loads from the joists above. So if we look at how we got the point loads for the joists above, we know that the from the previous video we saw that the UDL of the um, joists was 16.995 kilonewtons per meter. So all we do is we just multiply that value by nine. In the previous video, we multiplied by three as well to give us a, a single point load due to all three of them. But I'm, we need to separate them out for the free body diagram because that's actually what happened here. We're going to get uh, three separate point loads, not one total point load. So if we just go 16.995 multiplied by nine meters because that's the length of those joists where it's acting we get 152.955. Okay, so 152.955. Those act at three, six, and nine. Okay, so they act at three meter intervals. As shown from this diagram here, we're looking at this beam there. We have point load, point load, point load, and that acts at three, six, nine, and 12, or just at three meter intervals. Okay, so those are the point loads. The self weight of the actual girder, this UDL, we also saw in the previous video we saw that the self weight of the girder was 10.388 kilonewtons per meter. Okay, so we just have to include that um, as the self weight. So now we can look at the free body diagram of this and solve for the reactions. Obviously, AX is just gonna equal zero because there is no horizontal force at all anywhere. And because this problem is symmetrical, we don't have to go and find moments about a point